Then we have a Briggs and Stratton, you can see all that. And it's, an, it's sort of a non-starter. You know, Andrew, is it a non-starter or just... So we've took off the air filter, which is two screws, and the filter there. And we're taking off the cover for the carb. So the first thing we've noticed, put that there like that. Yeah, so what we've noticed is the cable here on the handle, well, this is the throttle cable. First of all, that's just like seized, it's not doing anything. It's not even, it'll move here slightly, but it's not moving anything on the car. So we're going to check that out first before we start stripping it. And the choke works, it's a manual choke. So there you go, that works. Okay, so first thing we notice is the shut off is not working. I'm not sure where that connects to. It looks like it goes to this block here. And it could be for that connector there. I don't know. It doesn't fit in there, it does. There you go. And also, just look now, the actual linkage from the accelerator is not doing anything. It looks like it's both. Is that moving on the carb now, Andrew, up top? Yeah. It is. Look at this. It. It's not connected here. Yeah. That's what we've got to figure that out. Okay, I'll give it some pulls. We have had it just, it just fired up for a second with some carb cleaner, but I'm not going to do that. So we're going to strip it down completely, clean it all. It looks like we've got a gap here as well, which could mean we're sucking in air, if you can see that. So it could be sucking in air there. Right. I'm undoing these two bolts here, which is like a flathead, to get the choke assembly off. First, should be far off now. There we go, and then we can take them out. Okay, now then we can start undoing the other bolts here so we can move that out of the way. Let me get to this one. So what's holding the tank on there? Also, we're going to have to change the fuel, I think. It's been stood for some time. Yeah. So I've moved the three bolts which are holding the carb to the tank, but it's still fixed, so I've got to get more out here. And this one is what holds the fuel, or is the air duct, is it? Airline in place, so I can get the other bolt. So underneath the tank now, we've got a bolt here, because this is welded, this plate is welded to the tank. Once that one's undone, they have got one here. That little screw there, see him? I can focus there, him, him. And that holds the tank on. So tank's off. Well, we've just got to do the, the lead down here. Looks like the um, gasket's absolutely knackered. This has been apart quite a few times. There's a nut here, which is difficult to get to at the moment. Okay, so it looks like it's been apart a lot, I think, because all the, even these bolts are just not even tight at all and that one down below is totally loose that one there and they are 10 mil I think I'll double check in a minute then take the breather pipe off which is underneath there which goes to there it looks like it definitely has been apart and someone's knackered this because I can't get that nut out there because it's the threads knackered okay, to get the last one out it's a star drive by the way and uh, what's it looking there we need to get that jet out, won't we? Is it all clogged up? Did I hit me? No. Yeah. Alright. This is the fuel tank. That's John says there's diaphragm supposed to be on here, is there? If there is, <laughs> there isn't one. We'll have to look at this. There's a manual up here. He left us. So I'm going to have a look at that now. I don't know what's happened. We don't know what messed this up, but we might just look to see how much a new carb is. It might be really cheaper than buying all the gasket kits for it and everything else. Sometimes it's a bit easier to do it that way, isn't it? We did that last time, didn't we? Bought a new carb kit. Well, I bought a new carb, I mean. No, it wasn't for a Briggs & Stratton. What was that for? It was a Honda, wasn't it? Quite reasonable. Okay, found that one. There we go. And no, that one, hold on. Anyway, just give me a second. There we go. So you get all the kit with it, you get the gaskets and everything, you've got the little bit, the tube that comes down that fits into the tank, which is your filter and your pickup. I blew that and it was, it's blocked, so 
we know that. And the beauty of this is, look at that. It's, it's not worth the hassle. We've checked the numbers, they correspond with the ones on the engine, which is the model number. So we're going to order this, it's 20 quid. There we go. Okay. When it comes, Ooh, we'll finish it. Yeah, see, and that's what's in the bottom of the tank. So, and that's a chicken. Okay, so we've ordered the new car, so I'll wait to see if that comes and then we'll put it on and see if we can some of the new gaskets right, and everything. Okay, so I've done a bit of a clean up. Got the old gaskets off, a bit groody and a bit gummy, but there we go. Uh, that, by the way, in the la in well, in the previous bit when I was doing taking this apart, I thought the thread had gone. It wasn't, it was just um the, the oh it's a star it's a star knot so there you go uh cleaned all this up which is i think this is a like a regulator isn't it sort of oh, i'm doing sound effects now uh so i cleaned all that up wd wiped it all then i got an airline and blew it all out so it's all nice and clean all moving freely now i'm going to start assembling new carb come i'll show you that now Okay, this is the old one, that's all blocked. And then this one, come. Look at this. <laughs> 20 quid, literally 20 quid. Beautiful. And a full gasket set as well. There we go. So we're gonna start assembling this now. Which is quite tricky to film, so I'm gonna so the first thing to do is to put that link arm into this carb. And what I mean by that, I can't do it like this, can I? So we go. Hold on. So the link arm, you can see that, goes in there. That's it. Link in that first, and then we'll put this with the car it only just fits look at that hold on bring you up a little bit so your link arm's got to go in first from here and then we're going to put the gasket on and we'll put a couple of bolts in there a little bit tricky use a star drive and one at the top one at the bottom you can see that and then make sure the links arm in as well all right so that's that part done next is your choke link if i can show you that can you use where are we there we go. So that's going to take it off the old one. And it goes in uh, like that. And you've got to turn it right round and then fold back on itself. Okay, that's the choke link. Okay, so I, I couldn't film, I was too busy getting carried away. So what I did first was clean the tank out, which we did in the, in the last bit. Um, I lifted the tank up, it's awkward to do, that's why I needed two hands. The little filter going into the tank must go on the left hand side of the tank. It's a little bit of a squeeze to get in, but it does go in. And then you've got to line a little pipe up, which is just at the bottom of the carb, to go into the tank as well. Then you fit your, your choke, which is quite easy, you just pop that into the top there from your choke. Pull that lever back a little bit till it fits, it's snug. Then I put the screw in there to hold the tank on, because that holds the tank on. This one holds the tank on. This is the main one I put in, which is a really long screw. That went in. I've tightened these up. I used the star driver, and then I put a spanner on the driver itself and tightened that up. Um, the choke needs one more here to go in. A bolt, I've got that next. And then, uh, I'm trying to think what else is next then. Yeah, don't forget the gasket's got to go on the tank. I've done that. Right, let's, um, I think I've got another gasket left for the air filter. Put the second bolt in for the choke, and if you can see. There we go, that's all working fine. Okay, first booby, air pipe. Can't get it through, you're gonna have to undo the carb again, which just won't go through. So I'm gonna have to undo the carb slightly, drop the tank slightly. Hopefully I can get away with it, but not dropping it completely. Uh, oh, yes, you, you know can. You can just drop the tank a little bit and then slide it through, push it in, and it, it'll fit. So big booby on my behalf, but quite an easy fix, okay? So I just dropped it. I'm going to tighten it back up again. And get back okay, to all back together. Fueled up, new fuel, clean fuel. Uh, I can't do the accelerator yet, but I can, I can play with it a little bit because I've not connected it up. But I've connected it up down the front, choke on. 
I'm not expecting this to start by the way. <laughs> oh, I was not expecting that to start. Right, let's take a bit of choke off. Come on! Look at that! Well, of course, I this tail race, I think. But he's running. Amazing. Well, he's really learning to stop it now. <laughs> Man, the bullet tap off. I haven't, I haven't connected this up yet, so I've got that, that to do. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. That would be great. And uh, I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed. Uh, yeah, so take care, and we'll definitely catch you in the next one. All the best.